Hit shift D on the text. We're moving on over. Bless you. Someone, my, uh, someone just sneezed. Um, <laughs> we'll go ahead and grab the I out of that. Uh, we'll delete everything except for the I and the duplicate version here. Hit tab, G, X, and we will hit con uh, uh, control shift alt C. No, nope, that's not what it is anymore. I forget. All right, there we go. We have to go to object. That's what it used to be. Convert to mesh from curve metaserve text. Let tab to go into edit mode, and you can see we have this nice uh, this nice mesh we can now edit. So we'll grab this piece right here, go back to this text over here, uh, delete that I, one, two spaces, move that A over a little bit, move this I back to where the I should be in the word Pikachu, and then we can go ahead and hit tab, grab these two pieces right here, hit, hold on shift to select both of them, G, Z, and then we'll select all of these pieces up here, then G, Z to move it down, and then S to scale it up because that I for the, the dot for the I is huge, and that looks about good right there. So that looks pretty good. I want to go ahead and actually get rid of all of these pieces in the back of this A because we're going to fix that up in a second here. Now for these pieces up here, we also want to make sure they're not intersecting. So we will go ahead and G, uh, sorry, uh, 5, 1 on my numpad to go into front facing view. I want to merge these together as well because they're not looking uh, good because they're still inter inter interlapping, interlapping, you know what I mean. Um, we'll go ahead and, and select both of them, hit S, X, 0 to put them together completely. And then we will select, we'll go to vertex, merge vertex, ver ver vertices at first. Now they are the same, now they're the same vertices and they look good. All right, so now nothing is intersecting. Everything is the way it should be. Now the font is not exactly 100% the same because we don't have that little tail on the C. You see there's a little tail on the C right there and then there's a little tail on the P. You could definitely add those the same way. You just have to um, you know, make those pieces separately. I'm not going to do that for this tutorial, but this is very close to how the text actually looks. So now I'm going to go ahead and select all of these pieces here. Um, and what we're going to do is I want to hit, um, uh, what do I want to do right now? Oh, yes, that's what I want to do. All right, I want to go ahead and select um, all the pieces by holding down Shift. We'll go to Object. No, nope. uh, we can hit B to box select them all as well. Object, Join. And then, oops, no, we need to convert the text piece. So the PK and the CHU are all still text object. We can edit those. We don't want to do that. So we go to Object, uh, Convert to mesh from curve meta surf text. Then we can only hit, hit um, B to box select everything. Object join. Now we're looking good, but you can see we have problems with this uh, with this um, A because of the auto smooth feature here. So we'll just turn auto smooth on, make sure that's on, so everything looks fine again. All right. So now we're looking good so far. I do want to do some stuff though. So what I want to do is we'll go ahead and all of the we'll go to plane select mode. So all of the planes, we're going to double tap A to select everything on face select mode. Then we'll hit, uh, then we'll go to vertices select, then hit delete, and then we'll delete only, no, nope, we'll delete only, we'll dissolve, no, 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 no. We'll go and, well, we can't do it that way because it's selecting all the vertices as well. So we'll do this a different way. We'll do a better way. So with everything selected, we'll go ahead and do this instead. All right. Uh, we'll hit E to extrude this backwards uh, to about the thickness of the word Pikachu back there, uh, which looks maybe about right there, I suppose. Something about that, I guess, a little bit. All right. So now I want to go ahead and kind of recreate the little black outlines on the edges of the text there, which looks really nice. So we'll go ahead and do this by, uh, we have a little bit of that, that piece right there. So we'll go ahead and make sure this is on Shade Smooth. There we go. So now it's on Shade Smooth. We have the Auto Smooth working, which is nice. We'll go ahead and with all of this selected, I want to go ahead and hit Shift D. Um, and actually, before we do that, let's make sure this is in the center. So we'll change the origin to the center. Set origin, uh, origin to geometry. Now the origin is in the geometry, the center of the geometry of the text, so we can swivel it around and stuff. I want to also go ahead and make sure in our, we'll open up this tab on the side here by hitting this little arrow, and make sure the location is in zero, zero, zero. So now that we have that set up, I want to go ahead and scale this up because it's kind of small. Scale it up to about the size of the uh, detective, which is about right there. Um, and one of my numpads to go into the camera's view. Get rid of that piece. Oh wait, no. Get rid of. Actually, we can we can turn this into an ob uh, we can turn this into an object now. So we hit Shift D, duplicate that. And then we hit M to move it to a new collection. And then, and actually, wait, let's not, let's undo that. Let's undo that. We don't need that. We can just move it backwards. 
uh, in the scene. So we'll hit Shift D, G, Y, move it behind the camera just in case we want to duplicate for later on. I don't like messing with collections because we don't have the collection open right now, and I don't feel like going through all that at the moment. Uh, so it's fine. We can just move it back there, and we won't see that anyway. All right. So with uh, Detective selected, we'll go ahead and go to Object, uh, Convert to, Mesh from Curve, Mana Surf Text. Then we can go ahead and go up to Object, Set Origin to Geometry. Uh, and we have some problems with this geometry right now. Origin to Geometry. That's strange how it makes the geometry over there. Hmm. That's awkward. Set Origin, 3D Cursor. Let's do this instead. Let's move... Uh, origin to center of mass volume. There we go. We'll do that one instead. I don't know what was going on with that other uh, selection. That was kind of strange. All right. So we will make sure this is in the center, same way we did the other ones. Um, and then we will move it up from there. All right. That looks pretty good. Now, uh, what did I say I want to do? Oh, the outline for the word Pikachu. That's right. All right. So this is going to be a bit difficult. Um, we can just hit Shift D to duplicate this, then hit S to scale it up a little bit. Um, but you can see how this is not going to work uh, extremely properly. I want to go ahead and scale it in a little bit. So we have the, the duplicate. Uh, hit G to move it. You see we have the duplicate. We can hit Shift D, duplicate it, right click to cancel that. Now if we hit uh, S, Y, you can see we scale it just a little bit, just a little bit uh, under the actual text. So like not like that, like that, but just under uh, where the actual text sits. Now if we hit S to scale this up, you can see it won't exactly be perfect. So we can't do it this way. So the way we're going to have to do this is we're going to have to separate each letter. There's other way to, ways to do this, but since we could have done this really simply if it was just a text object, but since we had to modify the I and the A, we cannot do it like that, that way. So we have to actually go ahead and modify each individual letter, but that is okay because I'll tell you why in a second here. So let's go ahead and delete that. And now with our word Pikachu, I'm going to go ahead and move it um, over here. Actually, I'll move it up instead so we can just move it back down. We'll move it up, and what I want to do is for each one of these, I want to select, hit 5, 1 on my numpad to go in the front facing view. We will turn this little button on to see the whole transparent scene. Now, if we select each one of these letters, we can separate them. So we'll go ahead and we'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 letters in the word Pikachu. We'll go ahead and duplicate this 7 times. It's going to sound like a lot, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. So hit Shift D, hit G, hit Z to move it up straight. So that's two. We'll select both of those by holding down Shift, Shift D, Z to move it up. We have four. We'll select the last three, and then we'll move it up. So we have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Seven letters, seven words of the word Pikachu. We can go ahead and select this top uh, most Pikachu. Select everything by hitting B except for the word. Except for the letter P. Make sure none of the vertices in the word P, the letter P, are selected. We need to delete and face vertices. So do the same thing until we have all the letters. So we'll single out. We'll, we'll double tap A. We'll hit B, and we'll use the middle mouse button to select everything except for the I. Then hit d delete. Same thing here. Tap A, uh, B, middle mouse button drag to get rid of everything except for the K. And we do this over and over again until we have all of the letters. Same thing with A. Make sure you get all the vertices. If you cannot do it like this, make sure you just do a little bit and then select the rest of that because we don't want any of the C or anything else. We just want the letters that we are going for in that specific letter. We want all these to be individual. So uh, give it to that and B. Give it to that. You can probably see. Nope. And we want to invert that. So if we if you select everything except for that letter, you can hit Alt, so you can hit Control I to invert the selection. Hit Delete Vertices, and then you can just keep going uh, from that way like that. So we'll just select everything except for the H here, and I won't cut this because I was gonna cut it out, but it doesn't take that long to do. So we'll just leave it in, uh, and then the U. Uh, so Control I, Delete Vertices. All right. So now we have every single letter of the word Pikachu. We can do what we with, with we will. Um, now we can fix this up by going ahead and you see the origin is still over there. We don't want that. We want the origin to be where we want it. So we will select each one of these, go to set origin to geometry. Uh, now you can see now the geometry. Well, let's do this instead. Uh, that is the same as origin. Uh, we want to go to set origin, origin to center of mass volume. So now when we rotate it, rotate in the center. 